So I'm going to run us through the Big Sur 11.1 release notes, what's new, the fixes, security patches that were done, developer updates, what's new for the enterprise. There's a lot of stuff that we're going to cover, but we're going to fly through it. One thing that I want you to note is that the size of this installer, the full 11.1 installer is about 12.21 gigs. The Big Sur combo update, which will take Mac OS 11.0 up to 11.1, that is 4.19 gigabytes. And the Big Sur Delta update, which will take you from Mac OS 11.0.1 to 11.1 is 3.27 gigs. And one thing to note as well is that 11.0.1 Apple did mention that it's taking significantly longer than expected to update. Um, if you notice this happening, please do not interrupt the update. Just let it go because you might end up losing data if you do that. All right. So let's dive in on what's new. The One of the biggest things that's new is AirPods Max. If you haven't seen them or heard about them, they're pretty sweet. Big Sur 11.1 does incorporate um, support for them. And one cool thing is that transparency mode so that you can hear the environment around you which is pretty cool. They've made enhancements to Apple TV and Apple News widgets are now available in the notification center. You've got updates to the App Store and the privacy section. So basically developers are now reporting on their apps privacy practices. So that's really good. We're getting more information around our privacy. We've got the iPhone and iPad apps on Macs with M1 chips. So being able to play with these apps and being able to switch between landscape and portrait orientations is awesome. The Photos app now except, uh, allows you to edit uh, Apple Pro Raw photos directly in the Photos app, which is sweet. Safari has the Ecosia search engine option. And then air quality measures. Air quality is so awesome. I think that this should be something that's built into all of these devices. We should know exactly what air quality we're living in. Some of the issues that um, they fixed. QuickTime player might quit when opening a movie with the time code track after upgrading from Mac OS Catalina. Some Bluetooth connection status wasn't shown up and, and displayed in the control center. Uh, reliability of unlocking your Mac automatically with your Apple Watch, trackpad, scrolling speed may be faster than expected on MacBook Pro models, and the LG Ultrafine 5K display may incorrectly display at 4K resolution on Macs with M1. There are still some looming issues, um, one around Touch ID, I've heard some issues around Bluetooth, and I'm going to do some videos on these issues and what you can do to take care of some of those issues uh, in a later video. Also, I wanted to make note, uh, my guy, Mr. McIntosh, he actually noted that um, this update actually does fix the issue where um, Big Sur was actually bricking some of the 2013 and 2014 MacBook Pro 13 inch devices. So he reported that this actually is no longer an issue and it appears to be fixed in 11.1. So that is great news as well. Let's dive into the security content of this release. You're going to notice that we have 14 matches. Uh, for Big Sur 11.0.1 issues that are resolved with 11.1 uh, Big Sur. So the first one is Apple Graphics Control. So if I just click the arrow through this. Second one is Apple Mo Mobile File Integrity. We've got Core Audio. We've got a couple for font parsers. So you're going to see two of them. Then you're going to have a couple for graphics drivers. 
And these are big issues. You're going to see a lot of them where it says code execution is allowed. And, and honestly, it, patching these vulnerabilities is huge. And that's why, you know, you do want to make sure that you update and keep your devices up to date. Uh, we have several for image IO. So I think we have four of them that applied to image IO. Yep. So you got four of them that applied to image IO. You got two of them that applied directly to the kernel. And then you've got one for web RTC. So this is a boatload of issues um, that are fixed with Big Sur 11.1. So make sure that you understand the ramifications of all these security issues because they do leave a lot of holes in your environment. All right, let's hop over to the developer notes. If we dive on over to the developer notes, one of the biggest things you're going to want to note is that in order to develop for macOS Big Sur 11.1, you do need the macOS 11.1 SDK, which is bundled in with Xcode 12.3. So make sure you go download the version of 12.3 from the Mac App Store. Um, one of the resolved issues is NS Toolbar controls now drop background correctly when you click or roll over them. Uh, there's a new feature that allows iOS and iPad apps with non-resizable windows can now enter full screen mode, which is sweet. And then there's also a known issue when you present a view controller with a page sheet or a form sheetation style. Uh, there is an issue with that and it doesn't allow you to change the size of it. There is a workaround down below here, so feel free to dig in on that. And that is it for developer updates. Let's dive into what's new for the enterprise in Big Sur 11.1. And you can now install macOS on a Mac with Apple Silicon while logged in with a mobile account. So that's good. I didn't even realize that was an issue, but that's actually really good. Then there, they fixed an issue uh, around your PIN not being accepted when you're uh, trying to authenticate with a smart card. I actually encountered this and I'm really happy that they're fixing that issue. Um, this item right here is awesome. So the software update fetch full installer command now downloads the latest macOS installer as expected, but that's not just it. It also allows you to list full installers. So this is super sweet. Check this out. I'm going to run this command on this device and just show you a little video of what it does. So you run the list full installers. It lists out all the installers. Then you just run the fetch full installer command with the full installer version and boom, it downloads it to your Mac. Super sweet. And then some of these changes, you know, in the enterprise release notes for Big Sur 11, are really things that um, could be impacting your environment. You know, big things like this, permitting screen recording or input monitoring, things like this, which really cause problems in the enterprise environment. When you've got areas locked down and you need users to be able to access uh, that data and, and be able to change those uh, settings. Right, so some of this stuff is definitely um, big. Fixing the Kerberos SSO extension, huge thing. Um, anything with File Vault is always a big thing um, that uh, helps us in the enterprise. Um, I am excited for 11.2 to come out. Uh, I noticed that one of the big things in 11.2, Big Sur. And that they've announced with the beta is that you're going to be able to use the start OS install command on a external drive with Mac OS on that external drive again. So that's going to be fantastic. I can't wait for that. Um, you guys have an amazing day. If you're not subscribed, definitely get subscribed and uh, throw a thumbs up to the video if you liked it. Check out these other videos that I'm going to be coming up with in the next day or so around Big Sur 
uh, Touch ID issues and Big Sur Bluetooth issues that I've been seeing. So, all right, you guys have a great night. Take care. See you in the next video.